Okay, let's just try it. So on the left-hand side, we have two underscored scales. We call this the DNA. And the first scale starts on a G flat, and it sounds like this. The second scale starts on a G, and it sounds like this. So far, so good. That's a 1 3 1 interval, and we call this what we call our Raga scale. But going back to the first scale, if we go all the way up to the top, oops. So far, so good. Raga. Now, let's try the second underlined scale that starts on a G. Sounds the same, but they're not because the D flat DF is not the same as the D. And that's shown right here. That's a 3-1 and a 2-2. Two, two. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of composing in New Realms, Episode 24, Evolve, Multiswirl, Art Name, and Tweak. In today's episode, we re-entered by reflecting our new World System 6 composition, cropping, chopping it down from five and, half, five and a half to three minutes. We like it much better. It keeps our interest again. And basically, we took out a lot of reprises and, and one little chunk at the end. We also feel like uh, the new composing exhibit is where we are feeling new energy. More about that in a second. Uh, and it also, the new composing exhibit seems to tie into our world systems theory theme. Um, we've also been pondering things like life is a strange mix of carrot and sticks. Uh, you know, in other words, a carrot is things that attract us and enthuse us and feel energy and sticks are things like where we're feeling like it's the same old, same old and our energy drops. And in some ways we communicate that in our music, minor, major, dissonant, consonant, popular music and, you know, weird, interesting new music. But we digress. So we are working on a new composing exhibit in 3D, and this is our current floor plan. Um, if you looked down from overhead, um, this is the idea. It's going to be a square exhibit parcel, and we're having a composer's corner, a performer's corner, a world music corner, and a theorist's corner. And of course, the theorist's corner would be where we talk about our tones and intervals and scales, which we did in our last uh, exhibit. Our last exhibit was piano kits, and this is going to be composer's kits exhibit. So therefore, there's a composer's corner at the top left. And this is very early stages. But as we were saying a minute ago in... Uh, it seems like our idea of the world systems theory, which we've been up to eight different scores at the moment, um, ties, we had this little aha, that we could talk about world music and uh, put that in here. So if you're going to compose music, does it always have to be weird? Well, weird is what we call art music. Popular is what we call familiar music. Uh, although a lot of times Popular music sounds weird at first, and then it becomes popular, and it's no longer weird. And then folk music is sort of a category of popular music that's been around so long, it's become ingrained into our very upbringing. So that's kind of our current design for um, conceptual design for the exhibit. And as we have learned many times, you start with a conceptual design in your thoughts, and then you bring it out into an aural display, a visual display, in this case, a 3D avatar walkthrough display with cookable things. Um, and it, it, the roller coaster begins, back to the carrot and the stick. So the main highlight is that we, uh, we uh, 
we did a couple things. We we'd spent a whole bunch of time on our composing in the hybrid metaverse talk, so we did a video on that, and we uh, did a blog post on it. We'll just point that out to you if you want to go see it. It's here. The video is, and the slides are there, and we put out a few juicy quotes, such as we're each creators and what is composing and what is the metaverse. So that's up. That's the com declaring complete on the composing in the hybrid metaverse talk project. Um, we completed World System 6, and we're going to play it for you, and we completed an animation for it, and we're going to show that to you. Not that World Systems is done, except we think it's going to blend into the exhibit now. So, so we're looking forward to that. And as we just showed you for the opening, we compared the new scale, the World Systems 01, with a previous Raga scale, because it suddenly struck us, boy, this sounds very familiar. Are we just repeating ourselves again? It turns out we're not. They're, they're not exactly the same. So that all said, um, here's what the score looks like for World System 6. And we'll just play a little bit of it, and then we're going to go to the animation of it. So here's here's what it looks like as an animated texture. So now let's show the animated version. And these are both now posted on our um, YouTube channel. That concludes today's episode. What we like about World System 6 is, number one, we're complete with it. Number two, we did 
patiently, impatiently at times, let it evolve over something like a week to two weeks. Uh, we like how, again, we've found value in going to the animation and distracting ourselves from the score. And then after we got, so to speak, balked at something in the animation where it wasn't totally doing what we wanted, we went back to the score and plus we worked on other stuff. So it's kind of like a cyclic process of going back and forth amongst different things. Nevertheless, at some point, we're just wired to like declare complete. Um, and we also experienced resisting declaring complete. <laughs> We've talked about that before. So anyway, um, we like, you can see that there's quite a few, uh, well, there's four different scenes in here that it's cycling through. Our ideas for next time are to continue the composing exhibit design and especially the idea of taking our world systems theory into how the exhibit works. For example, uh, we have in the past looked at what Raga Hindustani scales and Japanese scale systems look like, and that might be fun to put into our exhibit design here in the world music area. Uh, and also perhaps set up keyboards like a Raga scale keyboard where they could noodle on the keyboard and come up with stuff that sounds Raga-ish and maybe stuff that sounds Japanese. And not just, you know, plinkety-plink. Um, okay, the tra tra traditional plinkety-plink is this. So that's a Western pentatonic scale, and that's what traditionally Western composers have used to to indicate Japanese music, you know. And it's not quite accurate. I mean, it's a it's a caricature. That's okay. Mm. And we wouldn't say we were any better than that, but we'd like to have more interesting caricatures than that. that I guess that's a better way of saying it. Shout outs to Silent Lurker, Mr. Spatz, Quiet Constructive Builder, and Methodic Innovator. We appreciate you. Tune in next time to see what happens. Do come back, do take care, and do keep on streaming.